Hey, how's it going guys? It's Richie here, aka the Aquaman. Um just cutting my holiday short to come and uh maintain the, the discus tank behind you. Um I just wanted to say uh hi to everyone and sorry it be uh, you know I've taken so long to do videos and stuff, but I've had uh, so much on, it's been crazy. Um <clears throat> obviously family holidays and stuff. Um, this is the progress on the, the four foot discus tank, 120 centimeters or 1200 mil, whatever, whatever unit, um, of measurement you use. Um, I'll do a little walkthrough and show you just a bit of an update on it. Um, I don't know if you guys are following me on, uh, the old Facebook and Instagram, but, uh, I was super, super happy, uh, with my IAPLC. Uh, 2020 uh, results this year um, for those of you who don't know what the IAPLC is it's the international plant layout and aquascaping contest correct me if I'm wrong I may have got that the wrong way around I don't know I can't remember um, <clears throat> but yeah it was my first time entering um, I was super happy I was aiming for like top 1000 um, and out of 84 countries and 2,358 total entries. Um, I came, I rank 771, which I'm really happy with because it's my first international contest. Um, and number five in the UK. So really, really happy about that. Super chef. Um, I took a risk using the red. Um, the main man, Mr. Felipe Oliveira, uh, kind of advised me against it, but I just wanted to do something different. So yeah, check it out if you haven't checked it out already. But yeah, it's all over Facebook and Instagram. Um, I'm going to do an update video on it as well. So just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing today. Um, so if I just, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what I'm doing. Right, guys, this is uh, an update on the, uh, well, four foot, 120, 1200 by 60 by 50 uh, um, Namunda clear water inspired biotope I suppose you could call it um, I've only got three three species of plants in here I've got um, Echinodorus radicans um, and then Echinodorus blairi I know it's been reclassified recently as something but I can't remember what it was or it might have even been previously classified but I know what is Blair Eye, so that's what I'm using. A um, couple of my nymphias there. There's a mixture of red and green tiger lotus. I originally went for all red, but I got sent a mixture. Um, so, but they've already breached the surface. There's a little lily pad there. Um, and they all started doing great. Um, the leaf litter still performing well. That's a mix of American live oak and just plain old katapa or Indian almond leaves that I just ripped up and um, mixed together. Um, I didn't want a lot of t uh, heavy tannin, so I boiled it first um, to remove a lot of the, the brown. Um, the pebbles in this tank are foraged. I foraged them myself. Um, you can't really see the discus at the moment very well because they're hiding. But uh, yeah, you can just make one out there underneath the underneath the wood. I'm doing a water change as we speak, so I'm filming a quick video while I'm doing a water change. Um, right, do you wanna have a look in my cabinet? Okay, this is the one, the right side. Tank is by Aquariums for Life, by the way. Super high quality, beveled edge, Syrian polishing, minimal silicone, just awesome. Opti white glass, it's just amazing. Anyway, um, oh yeah, and this is the new version of the Naturescape range, which I helped to design. Ha <laughs> ha, cool. Uh, anyway, here is my cabinet. Um, shed load of fish science stuff. Shout out to Nigel, TNC Complete Fertilizer just there. And that box there, the turquoise one. Um, I'm not telling you what it is, because I'm going to do an unboxing on it. But let's just say it's from Max Light. Um, and there's some more stuff down there in that box, but... And aha, my modified FX4. Um, 
some of you, if you followed me on Facebook and Insta, um, may have seen photos of me. I'd modded this because I don't like the horrible ribbed hosing that Fluval provide. It's no good for aquascaping or um, if you want a minimal looking tank because it's just the stuff, the bracketry at the top is like bleeding scaffolding. So I've changed it for the smoky uh, JBL hosing. Um, 1925 or 1927, so 19 internal diameter and 25 or 27 external diameter. I can't remember which is which. So that leads me on to, if you follow me up, I've used the JBL pipe kit as well. So I'm running a spray bar. I've got the old big old Eheim Jaeger there, but I'm running a secondary heater, the Fluval E series in the back there. That's just for, um, purely for a backup in case one goes and obviously it gives me a visual readout of the temperature as well um light on this tank it's a temporary light um it's a temporary light that i just use um because it's great i can adjust it and change it and wi-fi it and timer it and stuff it's the akamai by Hydor, but i'm waiting for um master uh, life aqua to send me their new prime pro which is all like singing or dancing wi-fi you may have seen the 900 version on the aquarium gardens video um latest video um right follow me i gotta turn my water off because i've run a hose into my kitchen into the bucket turn the taps off turn the power off and then that should be my water change complete. Right. Oh yeah, if you can see the 40 balloons behind me, I have meet, I've reached a milestone. I think I'm officially middle-aged now. I was 40 on the, on, the, on the 19th, so yeah, they're still left up from then. So, if you enjoyed this video and uh, you haven't already, like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any more videos um and i'll bring you some more updates on this tank um as it as it matures um i've been invited to enter it into the badc which is a biotope contest um but i'm not sure if i'm going to do that yet um i've entered the aga so let's see what that happens see what comes out of there i don't know i'm not i'm not like usually big into contests and stuff but i'm just doing it just 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 to see where I place. Um, I don't class myself as a pro. Some people do because I do it as a job, but I don't class myself as a pro, just more of an experienced um, hobbyist, I guess. Um, got my ways, got my methods. Um, too long in the tooth to change them now. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, like I said, Follow me on Instagram. I'm Aquaman underscore Aquascaper. Um, you can also like my page on Facebook, which is uh, Aquaman Complete Aquarium Services, but that's my business. Um, my business page. Um, on Facebook, I'm under Richie Sticks Newell. No, that's nothing to do with aquascaping. It's because I used to be a drummer and I used to keep dropping my sticks. So my guitarist gave me the nickname, hence the sticks. Um, I think there's I don't think there's anything else. Yes, there will be an update video coming out on the contest tank because I'd filmed it like ages ago, um, but couldn't share it because one of the rules of the IEPLC is I'm not allowed to share until the results come out. So that's probably why you've seen your news feed on Facebook like absolutely rammed full of con contest tanks. So right, I'm gonna sign out now and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.